Hey guys, how you doing? This is Dan here. Um, this is a second video that I told you I would make. I wanted to um, show you some visuals, provide you with some visuals um, to go along with our book, uh, textbook narrative. Uh, the textbook talked about using a, a protractor grid or a lens protractor um, to spot up a lens. And basically all that is is a centration grid that allows you to place additional markings on the lens to help you center it. Um, what I've done here is I have a basic flat top 28 and when I zoom in a little bit you can see that what I've done is I have attempted to mark the center of the bifocal segment. Now you can see it looks like it's off center because what you're actually seeing is the shadow of the segment not the actual segment itself. This is a little difficult to show but you can see that I have that segment marked and it's marked out right on the top in the middle of the segment. How I was able to do that is with this which is what's called a protractor card. All it is is a millimeter grid that you can use to center the lens. That way you have an additional reference point. This is also um, a bifocal. I believe this one's a 35 millimeter. And this particular grid isn't marked, but when I put my lens on there, and I'm just going to use the shadow for illustration purposes, once I get it centered, you can see that right here this is going to be the midpoint. You can even count out millimeters and this is a flat top 35 so you'd be 17 and a half millimeters out from the center either way. So if I wanted to mark the lens right in the middle I would do so right here and I can make a little vertical hash mark that I can then follow later in centration. So I slipped a little bit. That's a flat top 35. Also have a trifocal here. Might be a little tough for you to see, but you should all be able to see that. Let me zoom in a little bit more. And so here we have a 7x28 trifocal. Uh, again, a little tough to see with the camera, but you can see here the edge on this side. You can see the edge on this side. And once you have placed the lens right in the center on this grid, I can then go ahead and again mark the center with a vertical line. That'll just help me when I get in a blocker. It'll help me see that. The whole construct of parallax, which is what the book talked about, is when we look through a lens, you can see how our image there is distorted because of the magnification. You also have a space in between the back side of the lens and the grid itself. So, you know, this camera angle actually even highlights the whole parallax construct where it's very difficult to find the exact center. The only way I could find the exact center of a lens doing that is if I was looking straight down at it and I aligned it perfectly kind of like that then that would help a little bit when I place the grid back down on the table and it doesn't align perfectly it's going to cause parallax that way uh, we also have a traditional what we call boxograph here which is also just again simply a centration grid when you look at this grid it counts from the center and it counts outward so you can see the number five let me bring my pen down here. You can see fives here. Okay, it counts up five, out five, it counts down five as well, and it continues to count out in one millimeter increments. If we look again at this flat top, this is a 35, and you can see that when we do this lens face up it's very difficult to center again we because of parallax we have shadows the edge of the bifocal itself is right over here but it kinda looks like it's over here that's because of the shadow and that whole parallax construct if I get that lens perfectly centered then you could see it more like that 
but you see my lines are off a little bit there. But that's the whole construct of parallax. What the book recommends to do is to take the lens and put it face down instead of face up on the grid. Um, I'm always very cautious about putting a lens face down because if I take a lens and put it face down on this metal grid, it could be very easy to scratch it you know before processing it so that's that's one of the reasons why I always mark it face up but if I were to mark it face down you can see it's a little easier to get that centered in there and then also to mark on the back side of a bifocal lens you don't have the ledge there getting in your way so it's a little easier to make a a little vertical mark there alright so I hope that helps a little bit to explain and show parallax and also um, a lens protractor or a protractor card. It, all it is is a basic millimeter centration grid, something very similar to that we see to what we would see in the blocker. All right, if you guys have any additional questions, feel free to go ahead and post in our canvas shell. Thanks.